Hey you guys, um, this is uh, Armor Games Weekly, and I think I'd start it off with my one of my fa most favorite games ever. It's a series, and I'll put the other two games that go to it uh, next week and the week after. Deep Sleep! It's a horror game, as you can probably already tell by the creepy music in the background. I'm going to try to speedrun this because I don't have too much time. So... When you look into an abyss, the abyss also looks into you. It's point and click. I've played it before. I love it. So basically, it's about this guy who falls asleep trying to have a lucid dream or whatever. And you have to escape or do whatever. That's locked. Think of this as a walkthrough of some sorts. The key's in here, in this little pot. And you don't use it on the door, but rather this place. With this little box inside, and then... Then things get real. Now your first thought may be, oh hey, I better go out here, but wait. Oh god! There's a skeleton in the bed, and you rip his arm off to use against its will. So basically, oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about the telephone. Uh, you have to go out here, I think. Yep. You can listen to that if you want to. Says, you have to wake up. yeah. Uh, you have to wake up. You have to wake up. Have to wake up. Yeah, yeah. You have, to you have to escape. I know. The light bulb. What about it? Put it in the lighthouse. All right, got it. Anything I should beware of? Beware the nightfall. Got it. Yay. Now I know to be careful. Like, I haven't already known that. Okay, so you might be thinking, what am I supposed to do with this arm? This bone. You can read this note if you want. I'm sure this note gets to you somehow at this point. You should know all this is not real. I hope the inner awakening went well. You have full lucid control over the dream. Sincerely yourself. And, uh, I believe we go down here first. Take this cloth. I don't know why it's lagging so much. This game never lags on me. You can take this if you want, it doesn't do a thing. You take the bone here, stick it in that place that's hard to see. And before you can go in there, you have to wet this towel with water that's in this door over here. This is a really fun game. I'm gonna just play. Forget the commentary make fun of it instead not in like a bad way though oh crap one fun little tidbit I forgot to share with you guys if you go up to the door while it's still burning there's hands that come up and scare the crap out of you I know they did that to me there's a key right here there's little fairies everywhere let's see what my code is this time Hmm, looks like a seven, seven two, what is this, an eight? No, that's a zero, seven two, zero two. Yep, seven two zero two. Seven two zero two. Okay, yeah, the key. Mm, we're gonna use this key to get the battery. More like batteries, but whatever. Come on, key. You have to wake up. God, I always had this problem where I just open and close the drawer trying to get these dang batteries out. Combine these babies, and now your flashlight works, and now we can go into the dark room, and no, not the place that comes after the chest, and you know what, but whatever. That would be cool. An Isaac version of this. Wake up! Oh, I'm trying to. Yep, and then we get to this place. That didn't get me the first time, believe it or not. 
This is something for the second game. Little Cody is lost without his plushy tiger. I'm not going to go into detail with that. There's this place that you can go in and explore, but it doesn't have anything significant. There's not a room to that place. There's a hook down here that you'll need, though. So. God dang it. 7202. Boop. Come on. Enter. Oh, right. I once found this glitch with this door where I had already completed the game and I played it again. And I opened this door and the eyes were already there. Oh, right. This hallway is in all three games. Take your axe and then run like crazy because this guy's after you. Yeah, there are the eyes. You have to close the door on him. What happened to Why did it say it's not fully open yet? Whatever, let's get out of here. We got our pickaxe. Now we can gather cobblestone. Oh god. Right, right. Go out here. Nice sandy night beach outside. And this hole is apparently very small. Take this, go back. Combine them. Almost out of time. Gotta go back to the dark room. No. I don't know what kind of building this is. I've always wondered though. It looks like an apartment of some sorts. Might have been a place from. Oh yeah. There's the recording that's playing that message for the phone. This is Script Welder Studio, guys. Where magic happens. Nah, I'm kidding. Script Welder, you're awesome. I love this game! I love this game. I love all three games. Oh my god. When the when the third game came out, oh man, I was waiting and waiting and waiting for it because I knew there was going to be a deepest sleep because, oh, you have deep and you have deeper. What could be next other than deepest? It came out and me and my sister was like, oh my god, uh, you were right. There is a third game. And I'm like, yeah, of course. So we play it. I didn't need to walk through or anything, I just kind of knew Script Welder at that point. Speaking of knowing Script Welder... Oh look, there's a funny thing you can do with this guy. You can put your cursor right here on his eyes and make him have, be angry. It's kind of funny. But now, we're almost done with the game. It's nice and short. It was made for some kind of contest thing back in 2012. You gotta click this thing. And he dies. That's, uh, that's it. Nice, fun little game. Except for it messed with me. It really did. I, uh, I had to play the sequel, and the sequel's sequel when it came out. And then, just like that, I woke up. Yeah, it was all a dream. The nightmare was over, but my life has changed forever. Me too! Now I'm a YouTuber! Was it all just a dream, or were these creatures real? Well, you just said you, uh, just had a nightmare, so I assume it was a dream. I have to know, I just have to know the truth, I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, I have to go back. Back to the deep sleep. That's it! Hope you guys liked Armor Games Weekly. I'll do it again next week. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to like and comment. Peace.